to talk to you guys about this. This is such a moving story. That's why we included it in the show. My next guest has an incredible and an inspirational story for y'all. She's a freshman in high school, and earlier this year, her father passed away unexpectedly. In her grief, she found a unique way to honor his life, and in doing so, she touched the life of a total stranger halfway across the country. Please welcome 14-year-old Peyton. So, first of all, tell us about your dad. My dad was my best friend. He, me and him had this bond that was completely inseparable. We would talk about anything and everything. And sadly, on March 9th, he did pass away unexpectedly due to a heart disease that went unnoticed. Oh. And we are doing everything to keep his memory alive, including necklaces. And he loved to ride motorcycles. And so when I saw this motorcycle necklace, I needed it. Was he a Harley man? Is that uh, what a... Any motorcycle. Any motorcycle. It was just a motorcycle. <laughs> He's and, a rebel. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and this is an ashes necklace, so it has some of his ashes in it already. That's so beautiful. And so you, you said your grandmother did the same as well, right? Did y'all have, did everybody kind of? She has an ashes necklace too. I'm pretty sure hers is in the shape of a heart. And oh. it says sun on it maybe. Yeah. I'm not sure. That's a really beautiful way to remember someone and still carry them with you. And Thank you. It's a, it's, my daughter is five. She's obsessed right now with life and death and she doesn't understand it all. So it's a very beautiful way for me to even get to tell her like, hey, you always have a part of the person with you. It's a very, very right. special thing, and I love it. And here's the thing, so what you did, though, is the message in the bottle. Where did you get that idea to kind of do that? My grandma told me about it, and it was just a bottle. I had ashes in it, and mm -hmm. I had a note from both my grandma and I explaining, like, what happened and how hard it hit our family. And that was your big thing, right? You wanted, he always, always wanted to travel. He loved traveling. He would do anything he can just to be anywhere. That's so cool. He really lived. Yes. That's a beautiful, sure. beautiful thing. And from there, it exploded into this a beautiful thing for us to remember him. Yeah, it's a gorgeous thing. Where did you take the bottle? Um, I'm from right outside of Dallas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Me as well. <laughs> And I had some cousins who were going out to Florida on vacation, and they agreed to take the bottle with the ashes and the mm -hmm. note. And we also added a few dollars in case it was found, like, outside of U.S. So what happened next? You put it out there, and what happened? Um, the next day, it washed up about, like, 20 miles up into Walton County. And this amazing woman, she found it, and she texted my grandma, and we were just in shock. Okay, so I want to read this. It says, hello. My name is Sergeant Paula Pendleton. I work for the Walton County Sheriff's Office. I've had a very interesting day, one that includes your beloved son and loving father, Brian. I found your note and wanted to let you know I cried. I am now putting the note and the money back in the bottle and am delivering it to one of my fishing charter buddies so he can drop Brian way out in the Gulf. Brian's your dad. Um, while he's out there, he can travel and explore this great big world. Therefore, Brian got to do a ride along with a deputy sheriff before he drifted out on his adventures once again. I thought that was so beautiful <laughs> that so touched by your message and it went out to the world. So did you ever get to actually speak to her? We had some brief text messaging, and last week I actually got to meet her over Skype. Oh, that's cool. And hearing her voice just put me into shock because I got to connect with her personally, yeah. and I also, like, felt my dad with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so um, mature for your age. I'm not handling it well. You are. Um, have, have, so you haven't met her in person, only on Skype, and you right. got to have that connect. That's so funny. This whole show, honestly, is based on connection. I feel like everyone's really divided right now in our country, and I think it's so beautiful what you did. And ended up doing this connection that you didn't expect. Right. And I thought it was really beautiful. So, Peyton, I have a surprise for you. You don't have to wait to meet her in person anymore because Sergeant Paula is here today. Come on up! Well, thank way. you. <laughs> Beautiful. That's what um, I did for. So, 
this is why we didn't mean to throw you. Let me help you because I, I know I have shade. black under my eye. But let's make sure that beautiful face is seen. So you you say, Sergeant Paula, that you were actually <laughs> Nick. You were, she's, she went in from crying to laughing. That's me. That's me in a range of emotions yeah. in one day. Um, but you say you were meant to find this bottle. And why, why do you say that? Yes, um, well, last year I lost my husband. Um, it was sudden. Um, we took him to the hospital, and they said, go home and get your affairs in order. And so I brought him home and had seven days with him. And he was a chef and a boat captain, and he loved to travel. And ironically enough, the, where I sent the ashes out of my husband is where Brian washed up at the next beach over. So I was meant to meet her. Isn't life insane <laughs> like that? Let me hope again. Um, you, you, I'm such a mom you, right now, and I probably have black all over my can face. You do that. You, don't. you look great. You look great. You got waterproof um, this hair, I guess. You, <laughs> I know. We didn't get waterproof. We didn't get waterproof. No, no, no. It probably was. You're just me. And same thing happens to me. But what do you, do you want to say anything to her in person? I know y'all got to talk on Skype, but I thought we wanted to surprise you because honestly, we felt like this was such a magical story. And like I said, this whole show is about connecting people again. I feel like we're so lost in our phones and lost in our own little egocentric world that we don't think outside of ourselves. And this was such a beautiful moment. Do you have anything you want to say to her? I love you. I love you. <laughs> I know it's probably hard to talk. I mean, how crazy is it? Do you think? I, are y'all those people? I'm those. I think everything happens for a reason, even the really crappy yeah, stuff. Yeah, I, I and, can't and even imagine. You have to believe that now. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I, uh, I spoke to Peyton over Skype, and we spoke text messaging, and this was very hard keeping this from you, by the way. <laughs> and um, it, we were absolutely supposed to meet, and I just want you to know, Peyton, that from here on out, if you need anything in this world ever, you can call me night or day. I'm here for you. <laughs> I mean, do y'all have, I feel like there are things that have happened in my life, like, that I feel like are just so, well, I feel like my life sometimes is like that, but do y'all have situations like that, Kirsten, Chris, Danielle, do y'all have anything like that where it just, it was meant to happen? Like, uh, yeah. I mean, I feel too. like that, uh, even about, you know, I was talking to Chris about working on Fargo and, like, meeting Jesse and, like, you never know where you're going to meet your soulmate in life. You don't Absolutely. never know when that Definitely. happens, but to have those things is, this is, is so precious. Yeah, yeah. And Peyton, Peyton actually, she's so bright, and, and <laughs> she started a Facebook page, which is Brian's Journey, and, <laughs> and the comments that we've received on this are so positive. I mean, 90% of them are how our story or her story mm -hmm. has helped them with their grief and got through them through this. So. Not only are you a big spirit and soul, your dad's looking out for you, but you're a strong woman, and I'm here for you. And you're leading something beautiful. <laughs> you're leading something beautiful. So we want to build upon that, okay? Because by sending that message out into the world, you connected with someone who was going through the exact same thing as you, you know, loss, and that connection helped you both. And I think it's a really beautiful thing. So this show is all about connection. So your story inspired me to find a way to connect more people. And we don't even have to go to the ocean if you don't want to. I want to start something where everybody in the world, you could, your dad could travel all over the world, your husband could go all the world. So you, let's use this viral moment, you know, let's go online. If anybody out there wants to share a picture and a message from a loved one, use the hashtag message in a bottle on Instagram. Unlike a physical message in a bottle where only one person can find it, this is a way for your loved one's message to travel the world to connect to people, to help and inspire and heal, by the way. It's, it's always very healing to talk to some else that's going through it and and just to share in that grief not to sit in it but to understand it and I just was so blown away by this so we wanted to start this whole campaign online for your dad Brian for your husband just to really make that connection possible because I really do think that we all need more connection in our lives and I thank you for that I will not stop talking until you subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's right, and I can talk a lot. Seriously, not gonna stop. Yep, still here, not going anywhere. I see you. Don't walk away from this.